y'all, it's Eliana and welcome back to Eliana's Diary. So today, as you can see, I'm actually in my house and I'm all healed up and the week literally passed and yes, I literally did not record for a week which was really bad but you guys know basically my knee was all messed up but now thankfully all things to god and the glory be to him my knee is all healed up really quick and um it basically healed really quick and yeah today i'm just gonna be doing a um day in the life with me you could say so basically we got like three weeks of school um after we came back from our trip so um, we don't have school right now, so basically I'm going to be taking you guys along with me for the day. And yeah, basically um, it's still early in the morning, so I already like read my Bible and um, had some breakfast. So um, I've been planning on like redoing my house, like my apartment completely for Christmas. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go head over to my computer and let's look at the layout and everything and like just redo everything so yeah so here's my computer i'm just gonna go on it real quick and then we're gonna do my whole house makeover so let's get started so i'm thinking i'm gonna do the kitchen first or i'm just gonna take everything out that i don't want because my kitchen and everything just has been feeling really cluttered and I don't like the layout anymore. So that's what I'm doing first. And I'm just going to add some music to speed through this because this took me a while to do, y'all. So yeah, I'm going to add some music and I'll talk to you guys when I feel like talking. <laughs> and yeah.
Okay y'all, so this is the reveal right here. I did end up going with a little bit of Christmassy things here and there. As you can see, I have a nutcracker right there. And then with my workout room, I did change up a few things and I added a like table right there to like, you know, do homework or whatever I need to do. I now have a washer and a dryer. Um, not like a two-in-one anymore. <laughs> and then uh, this is the kitchen. It's super small. And then here I have the super small living room as well. I no longer have a TV, but like I'm fine with that. I think I like this layout for now. I'm really liking it. And here I have my bedroom. So yeah, that is the whole apartment, you guys. Okay, y'all. So as you can see, my house, I gave it a complete makeover. And I love it. It looks a lot better. And I'm so happy with this like new makeover. I'm really happy with it. And I think it will be a new fresh start because we're almost start we're, we're almost gonna be in 2023. So anyways, um I guess now since this is kind of like a day in my life video, um I'm gonna take you guys along with what else I'm gonna do. So now I'm actually gonna go for a Bible study with everyone else and we were gonna meet up in we're gonna meet up in a cool place which I won't tell you guys yet. So um anyways I'm gonna get my stuff really quick. Well technically I only need to take my Bible so I'm gonna just get my Bible and I think I will change into a different outfit as well. So I'll see you guys in a second. So I just got this outfit right here. I really like it. So anyways, y'all, I'm going to go to the place that we were all supposed to meet up. And I'll see you guys there. So we ended up coming to this park right here. This was like the secret location that I didn't want to tell you guys about yet. Uh, but yeah, anyways, it was really fun and we ended up having a short Bible study on Romans chapter 2 verse 6 through 10. And actually, no, through 11, <laughs> all the way to 11 and then a little bit after that as well. So I'm going to read a little bit to you guys so you guys can like kind of understand what we were studying about. So it says... Romans uh, chapter 2 verse 6 says he will render to each one according to his works and then, now I'm going to go all the way to 11 so to those who obey by patience and well-doing seek for glory and honor and immortality he will give eternal life but for those who are self-seeking and do not obey the truth but obey unrighteousness there will be wrath and fury there will be tribulation and distress for every human being who does evil the Jew first and also the Greek the glory and honor and peace for everyone who does good, the Jew first and also the Greek, for God shows no partiality. So here it says he will render to each one according to his works, to those who by patience and well-doing seek for glory and honor and immortality, he will give eternal life. So this part right here means basically he will give eternal life who those to those who seek in well-doing seek for glory and honor and immortality those people who are seeking immortality and glory and honor he will give eternal life to those and how can we give how can we get eternal life by seeking those things well you have to repent of your sins which basically means turn away from every evil that you have done and it's basically a change of your mind. You change your mind. You understand that sin is evil. So you decide to change your mind. That is repentance. You turn away from it. And then you have to put your faith and your trust in Jesus. And then you will get, he will give you eternal life. And then, yeah, that's why it says to those who by patience and well doing seek for glory and honor and immortality, he will give eternal life. And then after it says, but who, but for those who are self-seeking and do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness, there will be wrath and fury. So right here, those who are self-seeking and do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness, there will be wrath and fury because they will not inherit eternal life. They will be, you know, in wrath and fury. And it continues on to say there will be tribulation and distress for every human being who does evil. The Jew first and also the Greek. And here it says the Jew first and also the Greek, which basically means when it says Greek, it means anyone who is not Jew. But right here specifically, it's talking about Greeks. Um, but yeah, basically, 
if you do not like if you are self-seeking basically you're just trying to find yourself and you do not obey the truth which is the truth that christ came and died for your sins so that whoever believes in him basically repents and puts their faith and trust in him will be saved if you do not like believe in that and you don't obey obey christ basically and you obey unrighteousness which is all evil there will be wrath and fury for you which means you will not be saved you will be not saved basically and there will be wrath and fury for you but now if you turn away from evil and you decide to not seek yourself but no because if you seek yourself the thing is we there is nothing inside of us that can save us from anything the only one we should be seeking is christ because he is the one who saves he came to live a perfect life and died on the cross so that we could be saved from our sins he was the perfect atonement for our sins he was like the perfect sacrifice so that we could all be saved and he rose again three days later beating death for us literally he beat death for us so that we could be set free from eternal punishment and from all of our sins but now literally if you see how our world is acting today you will see that a lot of people are just trying to find themselves they're just like oh no i'm just trying to find myself like i haven't found myself the thing is if you try to find yourself you're not going to find any truth in yourself the only truth is that jesus came he lived a perfect life for you so that so that we could be saved he literally lived a perfect life a sinless life and he was a human being he was human and god at the same time he came and did that just so that you could be saved from your sins he was literally crucified and then three days later he rose again beating death for us so that we could be saved from all sin and from eternal punishment and then after in verse um, 10 it continues to say but glory and honor and peace for everyone who does good the jew first and also the greek for god shows no partiality when it says god shows no partiality this part is referring to where it says but glory and honor and peace for everyone who does good the jew first and also the greek for god shows no partiality god shows no partiality if you're a jew or not a jew greek whatever you are god shows no preference he shows no favoritism you know so it doesn't matter what like race you are or anything <laughs> um if you're a jew or a greek or not none of those it doesn't matter because god shows no partiality because christ came for everyone he didn't come just for a specific amount of people or just for like a specific type of people no he came to, for the whole world and in fact in john 3 16 which is a very famous verse it says for god so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life now into verse 17 it says for god did not send his son into the world to condemn the world but in order that the world might be saved through him and then 18 says whoever believes in him is not condemned but whoever does not believe is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only son of god 19 says and this is the judgment the light has come into the world and people love the darkness rather than the light because their works were evil now verse 20 for everyone who work who does wicked things hates the light and does not come to the light lest his work should be exposed and then 21 but whoever does what is true comes to the light so that it may be clearly seen that his works have been carried out in god so this right here shows how much god loved us he knew that we were sinners yet his son still came and died for us to be the perfect sacrifice for our sins so that we could be set free because god loved us so much that he didn't want to be separated from us you know sin is what separates us from god but yet we choose sin daily this is why we need to repent and change our minds repent from our sin turn away from it and put our faith and trust in jesus and this just shows how much god loves us because yet while we were still sinners he still sent his son to die for us on the cross and this is why whoever now believes in christ will be saved and all you have to do is repent of your sins turn away from all of that and you have to put your faith and trust in jesus christ and you will be saved anyways you guys thank you all so much for watching this day in the life video um 
and I hope I taught you guys something or like you know I hope you guys learned something as well and anyways thank you all so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and also make sure to go and tell someone about God today or spread the gospel to at least one person today and maybe it could change their life you never know you gotta plant the seed and God does the rest also if you're still watching comment down below the word Christmas and then that way I will know that you stayed till the end anyways bye everyone and see you guys in episode 10